My name is Annabelle Sutar. I'm from the class of 1994. I studied English and theater at uh, Princeton and got a certificate in the program in theater and dance at 185 Nassau. So my love of the arts and theater in particular started quite late in life, but it really wasn't until I arrived at Princeton that I fell in love with theater and I thought of it as a career choice. The moment when I discovered documentary theater was when I saw Anna Devere Smith's uh, first play, Fires in the Mirror. I was blown away. I said this woman has an artistic model for respectful public discourse. Emily Mann, who is a visiting faculty member, who is the artistic director of the McCarter Theater, actually uh, taught a class um, in my senior year in documentary theater. So that was really my introduction to that form. And I said to myself, that kind of theater can allow me to work as a stage artist, but also bring in my interest in current events and my skills as a, as a writer, as a more of a journalistic uh, writer and researcher. I made a choice pretty early on when I came here to Montreal that I was going to not just write plays but produce them. In 2000, I founded this theatre company called Porte Parole. Porte Parole has produced uh, 10 productions in both English and in French. Uh, we started off as a local uh, theatre production company, but since 2010 we have started producing plays, touring them outside of Quebec and exploring national issues. When I decide to uh, follow a certain topic, I go out like a documentary filmmaker or like a journalist and I start interviewing people, anyone I can find who's directly or indirectly involved with the story. And I take that verbatim material and I weave it into the script of the play. So every word you hear on the stage is verbatim from those interviews and all of my actors are playing real people. My current production, The Watershed, that's being staged here in Montreal and doing a, a cross-Canada tour this year, is about a very dynamic conversation happening in Canada today. The story that The Watershed picked up on is a group of scientists who are fighting to protect the world's most preeminent freshwater research site. It's called the Experimental Lakes Area. When the funds were cut for that research site, scientists could not understand. And so they started to protest. Um, and the government came down very hard on these scientists. So I picked up on on this story at a moment when it was reaching its apex and I found out very quickly that there was a connection between that freshwater research site and development of the oil sands in Alberta and it was that intrigue that led me to some very interesting discoveries about how freshwater politics were conducted in this country. So the second act of The Watershed sees uh, my husband, my two children, their friend, and our dog, and myself, uh, embark in a Winnebago across Canada to travel from Montreal to Fort McMurray, Alberta, where the oil sands are. And the reason I, we did that is because I felt that in the play, in my research up until that moment, we were talking all about the politics of water and oil, but we'd never actually seen the oil sands with our eyes. As we traveled across Canada, we see people along the way and we interview them along the way. One of the final climactic scenes is us squished into a little Cessna airplane over the oil sands uh, to see that kind of environmental devastation, but also the engine of our economy at work. You see Annabelle dealing with all of the life around uh, the actual topic that makes the topic feel more rooted in our reality. The sales pitch I'm always making is that the theater has to be an arena for contemporary reflection. You know, it's not just a place to put on Moliave and Shakespeare. It is a place where new work is being developed to allow a society to be in dialogue with itself.